So, you probably remember this little baby from our segment, how to replace a starter on a Briggs & Stratton lawnmower. I was hoping to get a core charge back on this. There wasn't one. After all, a real man likes to save money, right? I've scavenged all the useful parts off of it, and the rest of it, since it's beyond rebuilding, is essentially useless to me. Unless... Welcome to the newest segment of ManlyByDesign.com, a little segment we like to call Excessive Firepower, where we answer the question, how does it react to bullets? Do the people really watch this stuff? Beats me, but I'm having fun making it. That's right. <laughs> so of course we use duct tape to hold the starter up. We want to start out with the smaller caliber weapons. So first off, Lamar's going to take a shot at it with a simple 22 rifle. You ready, Lamar? Yep. Let's give her a shot. Left a nice mark, but it didn't really even dent the surface. There's a nice little patter of shrapnel from the shell, but you know what? There's just not enough firepower. Next up is Drew. He's going to be shooting a 380 pistol. As you can see, the 380 doesn't fare much better than the 22. Next up is Billy with his 9mm. Hopefully we'll get some better results out of this one. Looks like the 9mm made a little bit of a dent. Not any penetration. Still not enough firepower. For all you history buffs out there, this is a military surplus M1 Garand. For all the guys that carried this, thank you for your service. There's a good reason this gun helped defeat the Nazis. Next up, we're going to see how this thing will react to a 12-gauge slug. Here's Billy with his shotgun. As you can see, the slug itself is actually embedded in the starter. Not as much penetration as the M1, but a nice shot nonetheless. So much for that core charge, huh? Yep. Let's do yep. this. 